Uh, uh, good afternoon. Thank you, Ibu Ratna Marsudi, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, for this opportunity to address uh, specific issues uh, the international media and all countries that are fighting this COVID-19 pandemic. And thank you, Pak Doni Monardo, the chairman of the National Task Force for the acceleration for COVID-19 mitigation. I'm here to elaborate the technical details to overcome certain issues regarding the challenges that we are currently facing. Uh, first, there is a question from the Mainichi why Indonesian government doesn't announce positive cases, basic details such as uh, sex, age, and connection between each cases. As instructed by the President of the Republic of Indonesia, that we have to open the data, and we are now integrating the data in the task force of COVID-19, and we are working very hard to make sure that the data integration from all level in Indonesia, from district level, provincial level, and national level, integrated and synchronized to improve the validity of the data. As soon as we have all of the data integrated and valid, we will be informing the public on the situations about the cases in Indonesia. We are having the web-based platform called Bersatu Lawan COVID-19, whereby this platform enabled all of the stakeholders at all level in Indonesia to put in the data and validating the data so that we will have a synchronized data that will be published to the public. The second question is related to the whether the task force has an estimation when the peak of the cases in Indonesia will be reached. This is from Mainachi and also New York Times. The predictions of the cases, usually done by experts, predictors, were coming from different uh, groups, scientific institutions, and individuals. And we have uh, review and combined all of the predictions, and we believe that the peak of the pandemic in Indonesia will start at the beginning of May and will last around the beginning of June, where the number of the case during the peak, cumulative, is 95,000, whereas during July, June and July, the confirmed cases cumulative will be reaching 106,000. However, we have to understand that in the projections, that's not a rigid number. We are having a collective effort really to implement the policy to make sure that the predictions remain the predictions and the real case should be lower than the predictions. Therefore, we respect to the numbers. However, we always working hard to make sure that the peak will not be reached. The third question uh, ask about the statement of the reported cases in Indonesia is only 2% from the actual number comes from the Center of Mathematical Modeling of Infectious Disease, London, UK. I would like to say that all of the modelers that have been incorporated into our groups, which are coming from Harvard University, from Imperial College of London, from University College of London, from NTU, from University of Indonesia, and all other uh, experts, all of those modelers, including the mathematicians, they are using the same formula, which is SEIR, which is susceptible, exposed, infected, and recovered. And we believe with the number and assumptions, we know that the number, the projective, projected cases, have some numbers 
However, with using that numbers, we are uh, developing the policy to make sure those projections will not come to reality. Also, there is a questions from the economist asking about after receiving 20 unit of PCR early April, what is the next plan? So we are opening collaborations from all parties, international and national, that would like to donate or collaborate with us on the PCR. And then also we are making sure that all of the uh, equipments will be placed in the laboratories across Indonesia and fulfill all of the laboratories which don't have the facilities, but they do have the human resources to handle the laboratories using the RT-PCR. Lastly, there is a question about how many provinces will receive the RT-PCR machines from Roche. I would like to mention there are uh, 12 provinces that will be receiving the RT-PCR machines, that is Jakarta, Banten, West Java, Central Java, East Java, North Sulawesi, Lampung, East Kalimantan, South Sulawesi, Papua, South Sumatra, and uh, Bali. I think those are the questions that have been uh, addressed to us and we have been uh, trying to respond to those questions. And next, I would like to give this to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Padoni. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Viku, for the presentation, as well as for answering the question and also for joining the uh, briefing uh, today. So colleagues from the media, so once again, thank you very much for joining me, Pak Doni, and Prof. Viku in this press briefing. And uh, see you next time. So don't forget, stay healthy, stay strong, and stay united. Thank you very much. See you next time.